the first vice president of Uganda, Sir William Wilberforce Nadiope the third, a politician who served as the vice president of Uganda until the 15th of April 1966. He was born on the 29th, 1910, the son of Yosia Kabule Nadiope, the paramount chief of Busoga. His family can be traced back through country's generation of rulers to the twin ancestor living in Ethiopia. The elder traveled to Uganda to farm the Basoga people. And the younger brother found the Baganda. His father died in 1913. He was only three years old. He was installed as Kabazinga, the king of Busoga in 1930. He went to Mango High School and Trent College, Dorbeshire, where he started his law studies, only to have it interrupted when his father died and he was called back by the Soga government to take his father's place. During the war, he joined the Uganda Rifle and served in Burma and Libya, rising to Sergeant Major, he was prevented from gaining an officer's rank because he was serving in a South African control unit. After the war, he came back home and joined local government and became a public relations officer in the Community Development Department, Kampala. In 1958, he joined politics as leader of a local party and later joined Uganda People's Union, which merged with Uganda People's Congress in 1960. In October, 1963, he stood for election to become the president of Uganda. He might have won the election because he had wide support throughout the country. But instead, Dr. Apple Milton of Botten endorsed the Kabaka of Buganda and he persuaded his party, Caucus, until he secured the election of Kabaka. Kabaka 
one with 62 votes to 27 votes. Sir William Wilberforce Bend down for the position of the vice presidency, which he helped until the constitutional crisis of 1966, when Obote seized the opportunity to dismiss him a day after assassination attempt on his life. He was detained along with Benedicto Kiwanuka and a number of prominent politicians. He remained in, the, in detention until the military took off a power in Uganda in 1971. When Idi Amin took off a power, he released him. And he decided to go back to his farm and oil milling business in Jinjin. In 1973, Amin decided to send him on a goodwill mission to Britain and the United States. He was a modern man that fits well in the modern world. A large imposing figure, a traditional leader from Busoga, one of the few people in the Uganda People's Congress with a country-wide support. He was a great challenge to Dr. Apollo Milton Obote. The quarrel between the two giants made him to lose. His ambitions of becoming the president of Uganda at that moment. And that later took him to a completely different path. He was detained after the attempted assassination of Dr. Milton Obote. We used to hear that during his reign as the Kabashinga of Busoga, rats invaded Busoga, causing plague. The colonial government passed a decree that required every Msoga to take a number of rat tails to the administration office in Ginger as proof 
that they were killing rats. Nadiope fought back. He didn't agree with the colonial policy because he considered it to be degrading to his people. And he was very annoyed with the colonialist. When he tried to insert his power as the Kabasinga of Sogan, the colonial government attempted to destroy his kingdom. He was deported to Bunyoro, making him the third king after Kabalega of Bunyoro. And the king of Uganda to be deported. We know that when he was taken, when he was 13 years old, he was taken to Britain for formal education. He returned back home in 1929 to be enthroned in 1930 as the Kabula local chief of Bogabula, one of the chiefdom that made up Kamuli. Nadiope was a military man And he also held a rank of a captain. As the Kapazinga of Busoga, Nadiope was one of the people who welcomed Queen Elizabeth when she visited Uganda to commission the Owen Falls Dam in Virginia. He was a down-to-heart man who had so much love for Uganda. And he served as the vice president of Uganda a second highest executive official in Uganda government, which he did well as the king of so Sir William Wilberforce Nadiope the third Kiabazinga of Busoga served as the king of Busoga and he was the first person who served as the vice president of Uganda following independence from Great Britain. He served Uganda from 1962 to 1966. He was like in the entire country. And believe me, 
He is one of the great men in Uganda that made Uganda what it is today. And we all appreciate those who played their part in developing Uganda. He was a great man. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back.